This is a racing drone. This is one of the best racing drone pilots in the world. Evan Turner, heads up, he's currently the champion of the ESPN drone racing league that you may have seen on television of those neon glowing drones floating in and out. And he's doing these tricks right over this water. Now, why is that? That's because he has one of these 533 stack saver. I'm wearing one on my wrist, so it actually doubles as a pretty cool wristband, but this makes sure that you can have one on your own. See, what do you notice about this racing style drone or any other home built or bought racing style drone that you've ever seen? And it's that all of the electronics are exposed. Now what happens a lot of times when we destroy these electronics is that something gets in there and bridges two contacts, creating a short, creating a scenario where that board can fry, sometimes even lighting on fire. Now, when water, dirt, grass, and I've even seen an instance where an electronic speed controller fried at a race I was at because an ant crawled in between two contacts and created a short and burned up the board and the ant. Why do we leave these things open? Well, they're just not typically designed to be able to be enclosed. You need something that's still gonna allow airflow. I've seen people wrap electrical tape or plastic bags in a pinch or packing tape, but that really reduces no ventilation. That creates a cooling problem that could also result in your boards frying. So, 533 came up with the stack saver and it's essentially something that fits around and covers your entire electronics. So he might be the best drone pilot in the world, but he doesn't want to fry his gear. And he's flying a 533 switchback exactly like this one. And this inexpensive, it only costs $399, can keep the dirt and the grass and the ants and some of those splashes from getting to your electronics and destroying your quad. Now, one of the other safe things to do is put waterproofing on your quad. Uh, it's the best one to use is a silicone conformal coating. This is essentially something that you brush on, sort of like nail polish that acts as a waterproofing. But the material data safety sheet on that stuff is horrifying. And as you see, let's ask a few of the racers here today, did they apply that conformal coating? So uh, we're actually waiting for uh, Mr. Nice. He's our uh, chapter head and we need his decisions about uh, what we're gonna do because it's pretty wet here and we're thinking maybe we'll move to our hollow for today. What? Because uh, I don't know. Uh, well, we need... I'm down to fly here, but... I'm down. But did you go there? It's pretty wet. Yeah. It's pretty wet. Like literally, like you even need to try hard to find a landing zone. That's true. Otherwise, you'll. But just... the track is dope. I don't think I'm gonna crash on this track. <laughs> don't think I'm gonna crash. Know, I, yeah. I practiced in the sand. I think everyone will be crashing a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's good. And we need like landing yeah. area or. It's good. Uh, yeah. Let's, like... let's put the track up. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Because I thought that was a question if we stay here or go to our follow. Or... That's not a question. Just go check the field. Yeah, let's set it up. I don't need to check it. Let's set it up. The show goes on! I started destroying electronics because on this particular day it was super wet outside. We received a ton of rain, but the race must go on. Did you conform a coat? I, I did not. I did not. Stevie? No, no, I didn't. No, but I've got a 533 stack saver on. Oh, and yeah. so, <laughs> it's splash proof. Spl okay, not waterproof, splash proof. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> splash resistant. Yeah, what splash you, resistant. Same Did here. Did you conformal coat? No. No. Mm. All right, Cole, your boots are waterproof, but is your quad waterproof? No. Oh, damn. I'm not going to crash. All right, what? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you conformal coat? Oh, yes. I make my father proud. Oh, the yes. Coating is he learned. He learned. Yeah. What about you, Chief? Conformal no, coating today? Coding. No. Yeah, no. I got a prayer. That's <laughs> what I got. Just yeah. <laughs> Heavy. Conformal code? Yeah. Coming into the no, turn. I don't do no. I'm OG, yeah. man. I don't yeah. do no. I'm old school, Johnny. Just, kind of just sitting out there, man. Get to get wet, throw in the car, grab a nut, right? There you go. <laughs> 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 
How many yeah, backups? Really How many backups you got today? I got three. I'm three? Yeah, I'm right. one night there. That's Hopefully, good. I don't want yeah, them, but you know, hey, they tell me it's a little wet out there, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I started breaking quads, guys. Throughout this weekend, I broke three electronic speed controllers, two flight controllers, and things were just dying left and right. I went over and bought a couple of sets of these heads up motors from Evan Turner himself. That was pretty cool. It's like getting to buy an iPhone from Steve Jobs or something like that. Really awesome. Or a Tesla straight from Elon. It's like getting to buy a bowl of cereal straight from Captain Crunch. I mean, it was pretty cool, but he also gave me a couple of these and I started putting them on my quad. I was actually running one of these that day, the open racer. So even a potted frame design like this, it fits around the bottom covering all of the holes that leave your electronics exposed. So having these meant that I could actually make it to the end of the race. I ended up breaking every drone that weekend, but once I had a couple of these, I was able to make it to the end of the day and I was able to get knocked out by losing a race, not by losing a drone. So these inexpensive 399 little things can save your quad in a pinch. And so I'm gonna be keeping them in my bag at all times. It's a little safe insurance. And anytime there's any wetness anywhere, a lot of times, sometimes at the night spot, the sprinklers will come on. This is just gonna slap on there and it's a little bit of extra insurance for a really low price and they look pretty cool and you can use them as a fashion statement too. They're not only one of the leaders in racing materials like this frame and these motors, but also coming up with unique ideas that make everyone's drones last a little bit longer so that you don't have to get knocked out by having all your drones break you can get knocked out the real way by losing the race. <laughs> Good job on that, guys. What do you think in the comments, guys? What are you doing to protect your drone? Are you applying conformal coating? I'll have links for that and all of this stuff in the description below. Um, I think that a lot of times we just forget, like when I'm building, I don't always remember to take a whole bunch of time and I don't ever really fly in the rain. Um, or in the wetness or near water, but sometimes it's unavoidable. And if I would have taken the time to do that, I probably would not have lost as much um, material. But if I would have had these babies on day one, maybe all of my quads would have survived because I didn't actually crash into the ocean. I just crashed into some puddles and this is definitely splash resistance. Thanks guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's crawfish. That is yeah. full. Are they like alive? Is it like a yeah. shrimp type yeah, yeah, yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't do it.